MACD Indicator Top Secrets Part 3. How to use the MACD Divergence Strategy for maximizing your profits in both bull and bear markets. Hey guys, welcome back to Trader DNA. In this video, I'm going to show you the ultimate MACD trading strategy that has remained a hidden gem until now. In this third video installment, we'll be diving deep into every aspect of the MACD Divergence Trading Strategy. And of course, the trading strategy we're discussing here boasts of higher accuracy compared to the ones covered in Video Part 1 and Video Part 2. This is because the MACD Divergence Trading Strategy fine-tunes the filters of MACD crossovers and MACD overbought oversold, refining its effectiveness. So, by the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly when to enter high probability trade using the MACD indicator. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand this wonderful trading strategy and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. If you've followed video part 1, I'm confident you've already mastered the MACD crossovers trading strategy exceptionally well. This forms a crucial foundation that all traders using MACD as their analytical tool must grasp. Moving on to video part 2, which illustrates how to identify the overbought and oversold market, offering substantial profit opportunities with a favorable risk to reward ratio. Now, in this part 3 video, we'll refine every aspect of the MACD trading strategy. By completing part 1, part 2, and now part 3, you'll truly be equipped to exploit the market under various conditions. This means you won't miss out on market opportunities anytime, and any market. As a refinement of the MACD trading strategy we've discussed in video part 1 and video part 2, the MACD divergence strategy we're diving into in this third video segment boasts the highest likelihood of winning. So, if you come across conditions in the Forex or stock markets like the ones we'll be discussing in this video, you've got a really solid reason to think about using larger trading lots that align with your risk tolerance. This is because aside from having a better chance of winning in these conditions, they also offer significant profit potential. Now, let's transition straight into a more in-depth exploration of the MACD Divergence Strategy. Understanding MACD Divergence MACD Divergence signifies a trading approach grounded in the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD Indicator. MACD, a widely used technical tool, helps traders scrutinize trends and possible shifts in a financial assets price movements. It's composed of two moving averages a quicker one and a slower one alongside a histogram that indicates the gap between these averages. Divergence arises when an assets price heads in the opposite direction of the MACD indicator. This hints at a potential reversal in the price trend. Such divergence, contrasting the price motion in the MACD indicator, offers traders insights into potential shifts in trends and opportunities for making timely trades. MACD divergence strategies center on spotting these divergences and translating them into signals for trading choices. Traders typically seek bullish or bearish divergences between the price and the MACD lines to foresee possible reversals in trends or ongoing patterns. These strategies find use in diverse financial markets, including stocks, forex, and commodities, aiding traders in informed decision-making. Unlocking the potential of the MACD Divergence Strategy The goal of the MACD Divergence Strategy is to enhance the winning potential of the MACD Crossover Strategy from Video Part 1 and the MACD Overbought Oversold Strategy from Video Part 2. Hence, we're sticking with the components already employed in both of those strategies. These include the 200-period EMA, the 12-period EMA, the Stochastic Oscillator, 12, 6, 3, and the MACD. Why use the combination of 200-period EMA and 12-period EMA? Both of these moving average indicators play a crucial role in identifying the primary market trend and the short to medium term trends. The 200-period EMA and 12-period EMA serve as the standardized settings in this strategy, as thoroughly discussed in Video Part 1 and Video Part 2. Firstly, the 200-period EMA is a widely favored method among traders due to its accuracy in generating signals. It involves using the 200-period EMA to establish the prevailing overall market trend. As I've emphasized previously, the 200-period EMA guideline is embraced by bankers and institutional traders alike. When the price remains above the 200-period moving average line, 
it indicates a bullish market. Conversely, when the price falls below the 200 period EMA, it suggests a bearish market. Hence, in this trading strategy, if the market stays below the 200 period EMA, traders patiently await a sell signal. Similarly, if the price resides above the 200 period EMA, traders wait for a buy signal. To reinforce this, we incorporate the 12 period EMA as a secondary validation. The 12 period EMA holds significant importance as it evaluates the 12 period price data within the market. Similar to how MACD and stochastic oscillators utilize a 12 period dataset, we rely on the 12 period EMA to confirm that the signals align with the correct direction and momentum. Adhering to the standard moving average principles, in this 12 period EMA approach, a price below the line indicates a bearish short to medium term market, while a price above the 12 period EMA line indicates a bullish short to medium term market. As a result, the 12 period EMA line in this strategy acts as a validation for opening positions in accordance with the MACD divergence signals. How to trade with MACD divergence? It's really important for you to follow video part 2 because by mastering the MACD overbought oversold strategy, you'll be able to easily spot high probability signals that align with the main market trend. In this MACD divergence approach, we simply need to add a reversal filter that holds significant weight among banks and other institutional traders. This filter revolves around the divergence that occurs within the MACD lines, specifically when the MACD overbought oversold signal forms. As you can see on this chart, the price is moving below the 200 period EMA. This indicates that banks and other institutional traders view the market as bearish. Therefore, traders simply need to wait for the sell signal to form. Given the main trend being bearish, the next step is to await the price reaching an overbought condition. As we discussed in video part 2. On the chart, this is the price position when the market is overbought. Once the bearish market becomes overbought, it's a sign that the market is likely to continue its bearish trend even further. And if we look at the MACD lines, a few candles later, a MACD bearish crossover is formed above level 0. As we discussed in video part 1, this is a valid sell signal. In the MACD divergence strategy, we need to introduce an important variable. The emergence of divergence between the market's price movement and the MACD line's movement. Divergence appears when an asset's price moves in the opposite direction to the MACD indicator. So, as you can see on this chart, the price movement forms lower highs, while the MACD lines form higher highs. Therefore, this MACD bearish crossover formed above level 0 is a sell signal from the MACD divergence with a relatively higher probability compared to the MACD crossover and MACD overbought oversold signals. This encourages you to consider trading with a larger lot size according to your manageable risk tolerance. Since all trading rules are met, we must promptly initiate a sell position on the next candle. Because the price closes below the 12 period EMA line, the sell position we enter is valid. The next step is to determine a stop loss just above the nearest swing high. And as you can see, the sell position we entered is closed with a relatively substantial profit compared to the risk we take on through the stop loss. Conversely, in this chart, the price is moving above the 200 period EMA. This confirms that banks and other institutional traders perceive the market as bullish. Therefore, traders simply need to await the formation of a buy signal. As the primary trend is bullish, the subsequent step is to await the price entering an oversold condition, as previously discussed in video part 2. On the chart, this signifies the price position when the market is oversold. After a bullish market becomes oversold, it acts as an indicator that the market is likely to further extend its bullish trend. And if we observe the MACD lines, a few candles later, a MACD bullish crossover forms below level 0. As we discussed in video part 1, this is a valid buy signal. Within the MACD divergence strategy, it's important to introduce an additional significant variable. The emergence of divergence between the market's price movement and the MACD line's movement. Divergence emerges when an asset's price moves in the opposite direction to the MACD indicator. So, as you can see on this chart, the price movement forms higher lows, while the MACD lines form lower lows. Therefore, this MACD bullish crossover formed below level 0 is a buy signal from the MACD divergence with a relatively higher probability compared to the MACD crossover and MACD overbought oversold signals. Since all trading rules are met, we should promptly initiate a buy position on the next candle.
Because the price closes above the 12 period EMA line, the buy position we enter is valid. The subsequent step involves determining a stop loss just below the nearest swing low. And as you can see, the buy position we entered is closed with a relatively substantial profit compared to the risk we assume through the stop loss. An essential aspect of this strategy is mastering the MACD crossover strategy in video part 1 and the MACD overbought oversold strategy in video part 2. This mastery is key to flawlessly implementing this strategy and maximizing the accuracy and profitability of your trading. I'll include the links to video part 1 and video part 2 at the end of this video for your convenience. As you can see here, in this strategy, we utilize the MACD divergence indicator to expedite our identification of divergence conditions in the market. Naturally, the divergence conditions indicated by the MACD divergence indicator aren't evaluated as 100% valid divergence signals, as it's simply an analytical tool. The most crucial aspect is our ability to assess whether the divergence signals shown by the MACD divergence indicator are worth trading or not. However, you can still conduct manual MACD divergence analysis without the aid of specialized indicators like this. But if you're in need of the same indicator and trading system as featured in this video, you can find the download link in the video description section. I've included a system template that will automatically plot all the indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing to worry about. So, get the download link on the description. Here are additional examples of the MACD divergence trading to fully understand this wonderful strategy and to make the most out of it. After completing part 3 of this video, that signifies your mastery of the most crucial aspects of the MACD indicator. Similar to me, you've likely come to the conclusion that MACD is an incredibly powerful and dependable indicator for any trading strategy and trading style you might have. To thoroughly grasp this MACD indicator with all its facets, if you haven't followed video part 2 yet, you can click on the part 2 video, or if you haven't followed video part 1, you can click on this part 1 video. As always.
If you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time.